Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by Simple Health, birth control that fits your lifestyle. Simple Health is very simple. You go online and fill out an online profile, which is then reviewed by a physician to see if birth control is a good fit for you. Recommendations will be made and a prescription will be written. And if you have health insurance, most likely it will be covered. If not, it starts at $15 a month. So I like the fact that Simple Health is streamlined. There's no need to wait in lines at the doctor's office or at the pharmacy. It ships for free and will arrive right at your doorstep, which is great. So you don't have to worry about any lapses in your prescription, which was a huge concern of mine, particularly after leaving college. I didn't have access to my college clinic any longer. I didn't know where I was going to be. I was in the middle of moving. So a tool like Simple Health would have been such a great solution for that situation because the birth control would come directly to me. It should be noted that Simple Health is not a replacement for routine checkups with your doctor. Follow Simple Health on Instagram to receive the latest on women's reproductive health. If you'd like to try Simple Health out for free, click the link down below or head over to simplehealth.com slash Emmy or use the code Emmy at checkout. Big thanks to Simple Health for sponsoring this video and for their continued support. Now today, I'm going to be making an interesting version of cookies. In fact, they're actually not cookies, technically, but I'm going to be calling them chookies. It's another spoonerism. It's another reversed food. If you missed my reverse grilled cheese or the grilled geese, I'll put the link down below and up above where instead of having the cheese on the inside, I had the cheese on the outside. There's a similar thing going on here today. I'm going to be making a reverse chocolate chip cookie. So instead of the chocolate chips, I'm going to have baby pieces of cooked cookie dough. And instead of cookie dough, I'm going to have chocolate. Doesn't that sound phenomenal? Why haven't I had this yet in my life? I don't know. So let's go ahead and make it. <laughs> so when I got to thinking about how I would do this, I remembered I had this book. Remember this book? This is Not Your Mother's Cookbook. And it has very uncanny, strange recipes. And this was sent to me by Jeffrey. And on this page, dun dun dun, dun look, it's the cookie chip chocolates. So I'm making a coconut chip chookie. I'm making chookies today. <laughs> I'm gonna be following this recipe and this dough requires some refrigeration, so I made it ahead of time. So let me walk you through those steps. So in a large bowl, take six tablespoons of room temperature butter and add six tablespoons of sugar and cream that with a hand mixer until it's nice and light and fluffy. And to that, you're gonna add one egg yolk and a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. Cream that all together. And then you're going to sift in one and a quarter cups of flour and a half teaspoon of baking powder and a pinch of salt. So mix that well. So I found this dough to be very, very crumbly. Even when I squeezed it together with the plastic wrap, it wasn't holding any kind of shape. So I went ahead and added the egg white along with the dough and that seemed to kind of bind everything together. So then dump the dough in some plastic wrap and then wrap it well, flatten it out, and place this in the refrigerator for several hours or overnight. So I've got my refrigerated dough and it says to leave it out at room temperature a little bit to let it soften just a bit. So that long rest time has allowed the dough to hydrate. So it's much more dough-like than it was when we started. And what we're gonna do is form logs because now we're going to be making our cookie chips. So I'm gonna roll this into a log and cut these into small pieces. The recipe says that you can just make little squares or you can extrude these and have these to be little cylinders, but I want these to actually look like chips. So I'm gonna actually go to the extra length of forming these into little chips. So I'm gonna roll the little tip like that and then kind of just fold it over so it looks like a little chocolate chip as much noise as possible. In a parchment lined baking sheet, we're gonna take our little cookie dough chips, place them on there, and then we're gonna bake these at 350 degrees for eight to 10 minutes or until they're cooked, golden on the bottom. The recipe says that these will not spread much, which is good because we want the chips to look like chips rather than like little blobs because taking a lot of effort to make these into chips. Make them pointy and then just tip the little hat over, place them onto the tray. 
All right, my lovelies, I've baked my little cookie chips. They're so stinking cute. And now we're ready to make our chookie. Two cups of chocolate chips into a bowl. Now we're gonna place this into the microwave in 30 second intervals until everything is completely melted. Here we go. If you don't have a microwave, you can also do this over a bowl of hot water. So while that's going, let's give one of our little cookie chips a taste. Some of these are a little bit more golden than others. I'm gonna taste this one right here. Alrighty, here we go. Itadaki mas. Mmm. Delicious little sugar cookie. Buttery, vanilla. Delicious. A little bit crunchy. That's gonna be great. I need another one. <laughs> Definitely more like a sugar cookie though and less like a chocolate chip cookie. But there's no chocolate in this, right? Duh. All right, let's check on our chocolate. And we definitely don't want to burn our chocolate. So stir it. Pop it back in the microwave. Melt it some more. microwave and on the side here I've got a tray lined with some parchment paper so we're gonna put our chocolate blobs right there la, 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 la. nothing like waiting for chocolate to melt la, 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 la. I am not a singer I'm not a singer I'm not a singer at all okay boop, 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 boop. oh that looks so good So I'm not gonna bother with tempering this at all. This is a chooky recipe, but chocolate is notoriously finicky and tempering chocolate is finicky. <laughs> oh, I can attest to that. I once made a chocolate bar out of a cocoa bean. <laughs> that was quite the effort. Okay, don't fall off the edge. These are semi-sweet chocolate chips, by the way that's what I like. If you want them to be sweeter and more milk chocolatey, then use milk chocolate. If you want a nice dog chookie, then you can go ahead and use bittersweet. Now, I want my chookies to be evenly sized, so I'm using this large ice cream disher. Take a scoop of this. That seems pretty generous. And I'm gonna plop it right onto the pan. Ooh, that's gonna be a big one. Now, while this is still molten, we're gonna place our chips into the blob of chocolate. That looks amazing. Oop. And to make this a little bit more of a believable cookie, I'm gonna put these in at a bit of an angle, and then I'm gonna cut a couple of them in half. Kind of have them protruding from the side, you know, a bit. So it looks like they're kind of in the batter a bit. You know, like that. A bit of an illusion. Okay, so let's continue making our chookies. Looks like I'm gonna get like four big fattos. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, that looks gorgeous. Again, work quickly here. Cut a couple in half, put them in on the sides. Oops, with your fingers in between. Okay, so oh, that looks so good. So now we're gonna allow these to cool completely so they harden up, and then we can taste our chookies. I can't wait. They look amazing. Alrighty, see you in a little bit. Alrighty, my lovelies, I am back, and here are my reverse chocolate chip cookies. Aren't they great? And they actually turned out a lot better than I thought. They're nice and poofy and fluffy, and they look a lot like a cookie, but 
They're actually more of a chocolate. Alrighty, can't wait to give them a taste. So now we've come to the moment that I'm always waiting for, which is the big taste test. What will these taste like? Ooh, the reverse chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> I am imagining this is going to be divine because I am a chocolate fiend and this is mostly chocolate. So let's eat this. Alrighty, here we go. Itadakimasu. It's a chocolate bar. It's a semi-sweet chocolate bar, so it's a little bit bitter. You've got these little bits of cookie on top that are crispy. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mostly all you taste of is just very intense chocolate. I mean, this is all chocolate pretty much. You get some of that crunch from the cookie, a little bit of that vanilla cookie flavor but that's certainly overpowered by the sheer amount of chocolate in these chookies. They're delicious. Very, very intense though. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So if you take a few of these little cookie bites, it shifts the balance a little bit more. So this is more a little bit like a dark chocolate Milano cookie. You got that buttery vanilla cookie flavor that goes along with the chocolate. Having said that, I am still super pleased with how these turned out. They are simultaneously ridiculous and amazing at the same time. If you love chocolate, intense amounts of chocolate, consider making these. And if anything, they're really fun to make and I think they'd be fun to present to someone as a gift or a joke. <laughs> At any rate, there you have it, the chocolate chip chookie <laughs> or the reverse chocolate chip cookie. Big thanks to all of you beautiful lovelies who suggested this in the comments. Let me know in the comments here if there are any other reverse things you'd like me to test out or try or attempt to make. I'm all ears. I think it's a fascinating idea. And big thanks to Simple Health for sponsoring this video and for their continued support. If you'd like to try Simple Health out for free, click the link down below or head over to simplehealth.com slash Emmy or use the code Emmy at checkout. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. Never can... Never, ever.